Whoever told you that you can't cheat on your curls, they lied to you. Mm -hmm. So the form here is you keep your elbows in and then you lift up and you kind of use an explosion movement when you come to the top, like explosion. And uh, when you come to the bottom, you kind of control the weight and don't let the fucking weight control you. So you want to go like this and you control that weight. That makes a huge difference on your arms. You do hammer curls, hammer curls. They're great for your bicep, your forearms, and everything else. Another trick that a lot of people probably don't tell you is when you train, uh, when you perform the exercise like hammer curls, you want to actually use a little bit heavier weights than when you do regular curls because you want to kind of use a little bit of momentum when doing hammer curls. It's fine. It's called control cheating. So you want to do it like this, but then you control it on your way down. So on the top, when you come to the top, you can explode and you can use a little bit of momentum so you can go... But then the whole idea is you want to control it when you come down. Now that's the hard part. 